a tranquil pond nestled in the heavily wooded edge of Kaiserslautern, Germany. But 64 years ago, as World War II was drawing to a close, eyewitnesses reported seeing a stricken German fighter crash into this now peaceful body of water. Those reports are true. That's where the fighter and its pilot rest to this very day. So we can exactly tell this is the spot where the plane went down and where the pilot is. And then the next step is uh, see if we can take both out, the pilot first and then maybe the aircraft. Uwe Binkel is an expert at recovering World War II crash sites. He's been doing it since 1989. And during that time, his research group of missing aircraft and pilots has recovered more than 100 downed aircraft around Germany. And that's what brought him to North Kaiserslautern on this beautiful summer evening. After poring over the eyewitness accounts and mapping the pond, he sends in a diver armed with a metal detector. Okay, first, um, what's going through my mind is that nothing's going to happen to the diver, because safety first. And uh, the second one, uh, I pray <laughs> that he's going to find some pieces, some evidence. They're looking for a Messerschmitt BF-109 that went down in early January of 1945. It started all the way down in France, in the Metz area, and then they, they came all the way up here to the Kaiserslautern area. And uh, there were heavy losses from both sides, the Germans and the Americans. They lost a lot of aircraft in this, in this uh, dogfight. And it's the airmen lost in those dogfights who are the priority. It doesn't matter the nationality. No, we don't make no difference if it's German, American and British. We recovered 30 uh, missing pilots, was German, Americans and British, and uh, we don't make no difference because all those soldiers, they were young, they had to fight for their country, and uh, they gave their life, and they deserve a grave on a cemetery, not in a lake, not in a field. That's why he's dedicated the past 20 years of his life to this. And that's why the discovery of two small pieces of metal during tonight's dive is so encouraging. Yes, because uh, this is going to match what uh, the eyewitness told us. The spot where the plane crashed, including this piece. And uh, he's going he's gonna to go there again and uh, see if he can find some more pieces, some more evidence, and then we know for sure. But there have to be more dives until they can positively identify this as the BF-109's final resting place. And ultimately, giving closure to a fallen airman. Air Force Sergeant Lee Bellinger, Kaiserslautern, Germany.